Today, me and my friend Austin just made fish tacos, and today I want you to stick around to see how you too, great band, can make fish tacos. Mm. Oh, crap, I'm oh, so oh. hot. <laughs> That's a dip. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. My name is Mike and I am once again being joined with Austin. It's been a while. It has been. It has been. What is bukkake? Okay. So here we are today and we are going to be making for you some fish tacos. I actually made fish tacos a couple months ago, but um, it just, the video didn't turn out very well. <laughs> the tacos are great because I made them, but the video didn't turn out that well. So we are going to do it again. Lightning strikes twice, that's what they say. Did the video not turn out too well because you also made it? Um, I was in it by myself. Okay, just maybe, now you got me fucked up. Like I'm thinking like therapy session, like maybe it didn't turn out crap great because I was in it by myself. We could paint if that would help. <laughs> that's fucked up, bro. <laughs> I was talking now about my paint therapy that my therapist assigned to me. I think it's brilliant, honestly. Thank you. I could probably benefit from it myself. Aww. So we're gonna make some fish tacos instead. Let's do this. So, fish tacos. We had a lot of those growing up in California, right? We're right by the coast, right by Mexico, Baja, you know, that whole situation that's going on. Uh, avocado, orange, Julius, um, uh, walnuts, pistachios, California life, you know? So today, I'm gonna be making for you what? some battered fish tacos. Mm. First things first, make sure you make your tortillas and go watch my tortilla video right now and then you'll have your tortillas. Ugh. Okay, mm. great. Go watch my tortilla video and then you'll know how to make the tortillas. Um, I didn't make them so we're just gonna be using some store-bought tortillas today instead. Mm. But watch my video. <laughs> watch my video on how to make the tortillas. No lard. Naturally. Watch it, and then and then after you watch that one, watch this one, come back to this one, and then we can start. Okay, we'll sit here and wait. How long is that video? Four minutes, so we'll just sit here for four minutes and we'll wait. Ah, that's fine. Oh, well, it takes about an hour to make them, so just sit here for an hour. Sit here for an hour. You're really drunk. Jeez. Okay. Okay. People use lard in tortillas? Oh, yeah, they do. Regularly? Yeah, regularly. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so, some of the things I have, we have, so for our coleslaw, we're going to be using cabbage, yeah, pineapple, I should open the coleslaw, yeah. pomegranate, Jewish. and I made some creme fraiche, mm, and we're nice. going to add that instead of mayonnaise or tartar sauce or anything like that. Okay. It's going to be real nice, it's a real nice binder, a little more mild, a little bit of tang in there, but not... I don't know, when I eat a coleslaw, it's always so wet, Yeah. right? And it's just so fucking mayonnaise-y. No, I prefer it when it's, yeah, you got a lot less moisture, more crunch. Balance, yeah. balance, right? So the creme fraiche is nice for that, right? Because it's a lot airier, a lot lighter, um, but it's still giving you that flavor, that creamy kind of flavor. So that's what I'm doing. And then if you want real tortillas, mm -hmm. go watch my tortilla video. Okay. This just isn't happening. I mean. No. It smells like um, industrial. And I, why flour in this case over corn? I'm uh, normally I'm always apt to order corn tortillas, but that's just in my mind that they're somehow more yeah. authentic. Or so, so they're not. Um, if I were eating like a barbacoa or maybe a carne asada mm -hmm. or you know something real rich and heavy in flavor, I would get a corn tortilla, okay. right? Um, and the reason is because corn is hearty and heavy. And corn has a flavor to it, right? There's a cornness to yeah, it, yeah, right? Absolutely. Right. And so look at all this stuff right here. We don't want to take away. Now we that. want to take a corn tortilla too. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to have corn on top of all this, right? Very well, much. like I said, I'd rather just roast some corn and throw it in my tortilla. You know, now that I think about it, mm -hmm. anytime I've ever really ordered fish tacos, they always they come on the flour tortillas. Right. And that, that's you want to let that fish shine, right? Sure. And the fish that we are using today is halibut, not tilapia. Tilapia is the fish that swims behind the dumpster. Okay. Uh, in that water that leaks out. Meaning <laughs> to offend. That's his. Oh, no, I'm not offended. That's its natural. Offended myself. Natural habitat. 
I mean, you go behind any dumpster mean, and you take a, a fishing rod and you cast it into the dumpster. <laughs> Not a like free, free eating for you. All right. Um, just akin to the catfish. Basically. Right. Just so tilapia good with sauce. With sauce. Okay. Tilapia is good with sauce, right? Mm -hmm. like maybe nice lemon butter sauce. Maybe um, grilled. Yeah. Nice grilled. But when I go and fry the tilapia, it's gonna taste like fish. It's gonna be fishy, mm -hmm. right? And I want a nice fish flavor without it being fishy, right? And so yeah. we're gonna get that from halibut. Salmon, gonna get too dry. Yeah. Cod, likewise, too fishy. Maybe fish and chips, and I really want so that seems fishy. a little like heavy. Like yeah, on yeah. Thicker, written, right, and the halibut's texture. light, it's flaky. Yeah. Um, you know, you can pretty much eat it raw. Sure. So that's why I just want a nice golden color on there, and then I pull it off and, um, um, mm -hmm. it's posed out. That's it, you know me. <laughs> So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a coleslaw because I want those flavors to kind of sink in. And also the fish, the fish doesn't take very long to cook, right? So I don't want my fish to be done and then I set it there and then I'm spending 10 minutes fucking around with, with right. the coleslaw and then my fish gets cold and then it gets dry maybe. And, right into the and, tortilla. Yeah, so like fresh. let's let's just do the coleslaw first, right? Good idea. I'm not arguing. Stop yelling at really? me. Really? Chill out, you need to tone it back a little bit. Okay, let's, uh, let's make some coleslaw. Right? Okay, of course. Yeah, what I have to put up on. Free dinner. Free dinner. He's yelling at me. It's fine. It's fine. It's you know, my penance, I suppose. That looks great. I should really. I feel like creme fraiche is like a thing that like real cooks, real chefs do that regular people to tend to ignore or just not in, it. in its like Look at simple that. right just bumps up it's buttermilk and heavy cream yeah it's super simple and i think it it sounds very uh you know it sounds crunch like, yeah okay like that. so here's what i'm gonna do okay i'm gonna show you my method i'm gonna take my cabbage mm -hmm. i'm gonna dump it into my creme fraiche if you want to hold on to your creme fraiche don't do that okay mm -hmm. and i'm just gonna kind of because remember i said i don't want it super runny right but I want it coated nicely. And we want a lot of texture. Remember, we don't want like a nice uh, soggy. And now I'm just gonna scoop out what I want. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now what I'm gonna do, I have pomegranate seeds. Is that cabbage earthy? It's my favorite kind of cabbage. Yeah, herbal cabbage. It's nice. So yeah. these are sweet. Mm -hmm. They are not bitter. They are not. See, I normally have a problem with the texture of pomegranate seeds in like a regular salad, but okay. I think that in a coleslaw, I don't. I've never had them in a coleslaw. You'll get the flavor, but you'll miss the crunch. But there's always the. But because there's the crunch with the, uh, mm -hmm. the coleslaw, I feel like that's going to. Yeah mask that difference in texture that I would normally feel in like a regular salad. Absolutely. Okay. okay. And so now, great. so you get a nice sweetness from that, right? Mm -hmm. And so now I'm going to cut up some pineapple. Just however, I mean, just get a cut. I like big chunks and everything. So great. Pineapple for the acidity and the sweetness. Mm -hmm. I like a sweeter coleslaw. Now I'm gonna add some onions. A little bit of salt. A little bit, because I mean, acid and salt together makes really salty. Yeah. So we don't want too much salt. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit of cilantro. I'm gonna cut that up real well. Um, because I just want a hint of cilantro in there. I don't want too much cilantro, right? Because we're gonna put a little bit of cilantro on our um, Tacos, and I don't want you know the flavor of cilantro to be all over the place. Um, I'm gonna add a couple of tomatoes, also, not much, but you know, just a little bit. And now, ah, my fucking finger. Where's my microplane? I had it out. Fuck. Where's the microplane? That. So this is a microplane. You should have a I setting have for this on your um cheese grater I or you may one. have one of these yeah. so this is a micro yeah and so i'm gonna get some of that zest, zest okay. right a little more concentrated in that flavor 
just the pure essence of the lime without the acidity, mm. right? Because we already have the pineapple. Yeah, yeah. So I don't want too much acidity. I want this to taste like a batch of acid, but I do want the lime flavor. And so that's why, <laughs> fuck my ass. Okay. <laughs> that's why we want this. And make sure you're really drunk when you do this too, so that you shave part of your mm -hmm. hand off. See, also, yeah, I mean the, the skin flakes probably add yes. a nice little earthiness to it as well. It's like not two peppercorns in here. Not much in there, is it? Dash pepper. At least it's a nice grinder for two peppercorns. That's your favorite uh, app, right? Grinder. <laughs> yeah, I have two copies of. It. Okay, now I'm gonna mix this up. Look at how, you see how fluffy that is already? Yeah. I mean, it's not like just wet. I mean, I don't know if there's anything wrong with that, but it's not just like wetness. Uh, how, are you are you trying to get me to make a joke off of this? No, I was trying to educate you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so no, this is my slaw. Good. So let's take a taste. Let's get a big old... The cream fries is nice. It's nice. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Um, ah, oh, fuck. I was supposed to put a Serrano in here. Uh oh. A little heat. Okay. Not too much. I really can't believe you forgot the Serrano. Okay. So. That's really, really shit of you. So you can take the seeds out, the ribs out. If you're a little bitch. Or you can it's suffer. Good. You can suffer like mm -hmm. I'm about to do. Cut these up real small so that the heat distributes, right? So you have big old chunks. So I like big old chunks here because I like to taste everything. But if I have big old chunks of Serrano in there, well then I'm gonna be eating a Serrano. I got some of this jism on my face from the Serrano. Okay. Now let me mix this again. See, now you're gonna taste it with the heat and you're gonna be like, that's nice. I like that, that's good shit. Yeah, I've always lit, I've always, been taught to let the slaw sit and marinate so it really like soaks into the cabbage because the cabbage doesn't really take to the moisture. Yes. And you're saying that you, it's that you like it to be kind of much more fresh and like all right. separated. I want it to be a salad. Right, right. Yeah. Little heat at the end. Mm -hmm. Not a lot, little. Which is nice. That's what I want. So there you have it. Honestly, the pom pomegranate seeds and serrano, that's a great combination mm -hmm. right there. With the creme fresh. Mm -hmm. Oh man. It's like the uh, pomegranate is lifting the serrano and the serrano is lifting the pomegranate. Mm. Mm. Mm, just how they burst, they add that little bit of juice while you got that spice. Yeah. Yeah, I said it. Great. Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Slate. Marker. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the skin off of this guy. I mean, really the best thing to do is when you're at the butcher who's cutting this up for you, just tell him to take the skin off. But if you didn't, here's what we're gonna do. Mix for a good vision. You're gonna find. You get to show off your knives. You're gonna find a little lip, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You know how to do that? Depends <laughs> on what we're talking about here. All of a sudden. Fish. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And now you're gonna take the skin here, and we're gonna push our knife at an angle here, and we're gonna glide our knife and flatten our knife. You're putting a lot of pressure down there. With Lots your of hand? pressure. Okay. You're really holding on. I'm to holding it. this guy. Okay. Right. Take some serious. So look. look. Wow, that is perfectly clean. I'm legitimately impressed. Nothing there. I don't get as good results when I try, when I yeah. shave this at home. So angle, yeah. slide to flat, and always sharpen the knife before you oh, go yeah. in. Right. And now once you have enough leverage, then you can kind of start just pull. pulling. Look at that. That came off so clean. I always, always leave a little bit on. It. It's all about the angle, and it's uh, and apparently the pressure. I always feel like I'm gonna rip it. Yeah. And, uh, and ruin the ruin like the actual, you know, like break the fish apart before mm -hmm. it even becomes cooked. Yeah. Right. Angle. So angle first. Mm -hmm. yeah, even at this point. Yep. Even though you already started. Yep. So. Now start to flatten. Really push down with that knife. Keep it as flat as you can. Just keep dragging it. Just keep sliding that knife. Fuck yeah, you got this, booby. Okay. I get it. I mean. Oh, I missed a little spot here. Oh, I, I did. See, I left it. I was not as clean as you. But not that bad. No. You know, not too bad. Chop it off. Yeah, chop it. I'm gonna flip the fish over. Let's check it out. Uh, okay. A little piece. A little bit, but you know what? 
Look at that. Okay. Not too bad. It's so not bad for not my bad. first time really trying to do that. No. I'm I mean, I, I tried at home, but like I said, I'm afraid of like destroying when I'm, I'm pulling on. Oh, yeah. Just afraid to destroy. What are you pulling on at home? Well, a number of things. Uh, All right, let's cut this fish up. Okay. I like to cut it nice and thick. Horizontal like this, right? Because then you so can... it stays nice and moist. Yes. And so, see real thick like that, because then we can mm -hmm. put one or two pieces mm -hmm. per taco. Or you can put a hundred of these. You've been to a restaurant where they give you thin little sticks. And and most of the time it's fucking tilapia, I'm sure. Exactly. That's bullshit. So, I'm gonna cut nice, thick chunks. Okay. All right. So now we have some really nice, really nice chunks mm -hmm. that we can fry. We get a nice medium. So with the fish, I like to go medium. All right, so is there a trick to, and we can talk about this while you're actually frying it, but to knowing when a fish is cooked medium, it's very obvious, I think, while you're cooking a steak, it's very, like you can really tell the texture is changing as yes. you cook it and you, you're right. moving it around. So when it's, how do you tell? So when it's well done, it'll flow. Flow, okay. Right? And so once we see it starting to kind of wiggle, yeah, we're gonna say, okay, that's, Medium rare. Okay. Um, start to see a little lift off or a little, you know, light bouncing around. Mm -hmm. We'll say medium, medium well. Okay. okay. But floating is the key. No, I don't want it to float. No, you don't. Because want it it'll to float. be oh, well sorry. done. Oh, I see. If I were doing oh, chicken, so just when it's starting to to come up, basically. Yes. As soon as that happens, then you're at medium, and you want to be able to. I want to pull this guy out. Okay. And you can look at the color too. Yeah. Um. I mean, it depends on what you're dredging it in. If you're using flour. Yeah. Or if you're using um, cornstarch. Like dredge. Yeah. yeah. Dredge. I love to be dredged dredge. in in numerous things. I'm sure you do. And so, um, I'm going to be dredging this in potato starch. Potato starch. Why potato Crispier. starch? Crispier. Crispy, it has this crispy. So flour, I mean, mm -hmm. it fluffs up, right? You get a nice fluffy sure. fluff, right? Yeah. I'm sure you're familiar with fluffing. Um, but what this, oh, what this, I want a nice, <laughs> with this, I want a nice crisp, crispy, crisp, okay. crisp, right? Okay. But first things first, salt, pepper. First. First on the fish, yeah. the raw oh, fish, course, salt, pepper. Oh, right. okay. And your seasoning, season from high, because see how it distributes evenly? It's got wider. Yeah. But look, you see? Mm -hmm. I'm like. So, salt guy had some. There, there's something to the way he does that. Yeah, exactly. He's not just being an asshole. No, he's not just fucking around. Okay, that's great. This Steady. is one of my favorite, favorite smells. And fresh what? cracked pepper. Fresh cracked pepper. And just, yeah. Absolutely. Just a light layer. So I have this on pretty light because mm -hmm. I seasoned my um, dredge too. Okay, so a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then. But not here. both sides. You didn't. You didn't flip them or anything like that. Just no. one side. I, so I always do one side. So just think about that. Mm -hmm. I add more salt to one side than you know, the light layer and then flip and then do the other side. Because when it's fried, I mean, you're gonna bite into that thing, you're gonna get both sides anyway when you take a bite in, okay? Right? And so your flavor is being distributed anyway. So, sure, if you wanna Nothing do- Nothing to the idea of that, like, that there, it's, is it so little that, like, biting into it, it's not like a sandwich where like it kind of matters the order that you right. stack things in and like tasting certain things in a certain order right. can change the way that you perceive Exactly. Like, so if I were making a steak, yes, I would definitely salt each side. Okay. Right? And thicker. Evenly thicker. Okay. Yes, exactly. Little um, fish? I'm battering them. Okay. I'm going to fry them and I'm going to put a fuckload of shit on top yeah, of them. It's just so going to annihilate any of that. It's not really the salt at this point. It's just to kind of suck some of the moisture out of there, mm -hmm. some of that fishiness, and just give a little hint of, you know, if this weren't here, I would miss it. Um, if I salted both sides, it would probably be a little bit too salty. And especially because you have you have salt and pepper and what have you in the trash yep, too. Exactly. All right. Yeah. So it, the salt and pepper is going to get coated there anyway. And since I'm going to be flipping this all over the place, you know. Why do we pause and cheers on that? Why not? <laughs> right, why not? Again, light layer here, I would say, I don't know, two tablespoons I put on this. All right. And in this dredge here, I have paprika, mm -hmm. oregano, sure. ginger, salt, pepper, um, garlic powder, onion powder, 
and a little bit of basil, just for a little sweetness, a little sweet basil in there. Um, and you think that'll come through, that comes through with everything else that we're doing? So, well, on its own, yes, but perhaps when covered with the slaw, maybe not. So you ever had that meal that, you know, you've maybe made a thousand times and you wonder, how did that person make it better than me? Mm -hmm. There's something different to that. Mm -hmm. It's those little things like that. We said, yeah, I only put a pinch of ginger in there, but it's that little thing that kind of gives it something on the back end where you're like, this is just a little bit that better. Sweetness of the basil. It's a yeah. little bit better than what reminds me of what I could do. And and so it's those little things like that that we're trying to really um, bring it down. Enhance the experience. Lift it. Sorry. Jesus Christ. What was that? What? What did you say? <clears throat> oh, I noticed, uh, I just realized, I think that you have two dredges out. Yes. So the first one I'm going to use, it just has I notice this. a little bit of salt in it. And I'm just going to use that to coat, coat this. And then I dip it in my buttermilk. Okay. Because I'm allergic to eggs, but you can use eggs right here. Okay, so inside coat and then outside yes this is the one with all the flavor though so mm -hmm. this is the one that you're gonna it's be gonna eating. Bite this is this is just gonna hold on to the buttermilk because if you just dip this straight into buttermilk or eggs it would just run right off okay. right it won't stick yeah. so you need something to stick it but since this fish is a little wet moist mm -hmm. you want to i think our views are gonna go down just from using it right now. moist mm -hmm. yeah one of those Thanks. All right. Okay, buttermilk. so just some low-fat buttermilk. Whole fat is there better is because it's a little really? thicker. Um, but uh, um, uh, this is all I have. Little disappointing. Not getting all the fat. Hey, I'll drink to that. Yeah, I'm going through the fatty phase. Okay. I'm at the like very slow sipping stage now. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to really incorporate this guy. And when I'll let you do a couple too, but you'll yeah. be able to really feel the difference between this starch and flour. Oh, this is pure starch. Okay. Potato starch. Yeah. Potato starch. No, nothing else. Nope. Nothing else. Oh, salt. Salt. Yeah. Okay. So you see how it's perfectly coated. Mm -hmm. And now I get him in the buttermilk. Buttermilk. So it's perfectly covered in the buttermilk. Mm -hmm. Right. And wait, do you? Uh, why why the buttermilk over eggs? I'm allergic to eggs. Oh, that's right. But it's going to coat it. It's a shame. Fine. So you're gonna get it because no, eggs we're not using it. Eggs are a leavener, so you're gonna get a little bit more puff out of an egg, right? So you're gonna get a lot, a little bit of a fluffier kind of product. Um, it's a juke, baby. Right? Okay, there you go. And this is gonna be a little bit more crispy, right? Mm -hmm. like chicken tender. Okay. Hardly know her. Don't think you can make that joke every time there's an ER. Watch me. <laughs> Watch me. All right, I challenge you. All right. Challenge you? <laughs> Probably no <nowhere. laughs> Yeah, honestly, it's not even the same. Okay, so you're not even finishing them. You're just No, like, you see like, my so fingers are getting so goo. There's no reason to. If I start fucking around here, it's going to turn into just goo. Goo. How's your tequila? I mean, it's, it's tequila. It's uh, intoxicating. Uh, I'm going to go home. Okay, so we have a rule here. Not too much. And the number one rule is, don't fuck around. Don't fuck around. You're fucking around. Yeah. So we just, we get to it. Yeah. Lather, dip, boom. Boom, done, it's done. There we go. Is that too much fucking around too? No, it's good. good. All right, so next one, lather. I was trying to be even with it. See, this is the problem. I told See? you I was an over seasoner. See? This is, all right, fine. I'm, I'm learning. Over seasoner? I told you. I hardly know her. Oh, God, Christ. <laughs> Unbelievable <laughs> crisis. But okay. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Not sorry. <laughs> Not sorry. Yeah. So now we're going to. This is hot oil. <laughs> Very hot. And now I'm going to fry it away from me. Okay, lay it away from me. Ah, okay. Drop because, it down. yeah. Gotcha. Because if you lay it, sure, sure. it's gonna splash on you, right? Naturally. Yeah. And so we see our pot's getting a little bit full, so I want what to- What kind of oil is in the can? So this is a mixture of peanut and canola. So peanut oil adds just a little bit of flavor, right? Mm -hmm. Something that you'll miss. And canola oil, you know, both high burning. I didn't have enough peanut oil. I'm definitely judging you. Okay, for sure. So, we're starting to crisp up already, right? Yeah. 
but I filled the oil up super high because I wanted to cover the whole say, thing. They don't look like they've gotten lev uh, no. gotten higher in the pan no. than they were when you put them in there. Right. And you said so, that when they start to rise, that's yes. when you know they're kind of done. So you see they're already starting to kind of lightly bounce around mm -hmm. or a little more yeah. buoyant. And that's good. That's what I'm looking for. So I can smell, at least in my mind, it smells a little bit like canola oil. Frying. Yes. And so if you were to do just all the peanut, you would also kind of reduce the smell, perhaps. Yeah. Get pervasive throughout the house. Yeah. This is one of the reasons <laughs> I don't do deep frying, and I've never. Uh, I guess I've always just done it in canola or vegetable. Yeah. And it's just cool. And it's everything. It's like it's like Hanukkah and it's awful. And I'm never gonna no, I'm not hosting Hanukkah because I don't have my damn house. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's starting to splatter, y'all. I do. Are you splattered by grease? Yeah. Yeah. I don't feel it anymore. Ah! Just kidding. Psych! Have you seen his left arm? Ridiculous. <gasps> Okay, so look, look. Yeah? You see that? Yeah. We're almost there. Almost. We're almost there. Look at that. You see, we're almost there. What are we, about three and a half minutes in? Uh, yeah. Maybe four? Yeah, yeah. Four we're probably three. 45 seconds out now. Okay. We're getting there. And so the thing is, you want that nice golden color too, because if you undercook it, so yes, you can have the fish raw, yeah. but if you undercook it, you're gonna have that doughy texture, oh, yeah. because the potato starch didn't get cooked all the way. And so if this were just, let's say somebody doesn't have potato starch, uh -huh. it, and you're cooking with regular flour or just something that is less starchy, is it gonna cook faster because of it? No, it's going to cook slower. Really? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, it's gonna cook slow. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, so just under like four to five minutes tops. Four to five That's minutes, it. feel it out. Yeah. Yeah, you can see even when you pinch it. Yeah, they're these really are not nice, giving a whole lot. nice yeah. golden. You hear that? Oh, nice and crispy. Look at that. Beautiful. Should I not support you? Am I supposed to support you or not support you? Yeah, I don't have to support you. Spit on me, call me a dirty tramp, and slap you a few times. Uh, excuse me, absolutely not. But spit on me. Okay. You smell that fish? It's nice, huh? Yeah, and, and in a delicious, delicious way. Good fishy. Mm -hmm. Good fishy, not bad fishy at all. Okay, stand back a little because this one's pretty full and I don't want you to get burned. It's so from oil. sweet. He's so sweet, honestly. You asked me to fucking trip my face in there a few minutes ago, so yeah, it's fucked up, bro. And here I am looking But you didn't. But you didn't. There, there was raw fish on those. It's fine. It's fine. I'm eating here. Nobody at least is here. I hardly know where you're. Okay, that's not how that works. Oh, jeez, Louise. Honestly, you almost did it again. You did it again. You did it literally the same damn thing. Oops, I did it again. I spilled the pepper. I'm, I'm glad to know that he also buys Kirkland pepper, that it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. <laughs> potatoes do hold their heat a lot better, so we're using the potato starch, so these will stay hotter a little longer. Really? Yes. Okay, that's great. I'm really impressed with how, just how solid the outside, like, you, you, can, see, re you can really tell when feel you... Feel it. Yeah, no, no. I you see, see how much crispier these yeah, are? Yeah, really, you. you can see just, even when you grab them with the tongs. Oh, that's not just even breaking. How, how solid they are, but they don't look overdone by any means. I mean, like already, it just it looks tremendous. Yeah, and you would expect, man, like, I'm gonna start doing this with peanut, pure peanut oil instead of just canola or vegetable. This is, it smells so much different. $27.99 for this plate. $27.99. That's fine. Um, it's really it's a there we go. Look at that one. Taco. That looks good. Yeah. Looks good. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of radish in there. Yeah, I mean, legit. If I got these tacos already, they just gave me to the plain ash <laughs> tortilla shell. Be like, wow, it's a lot of help. <laughs> good value. Okay, and now our slaw. Mm. Honestly, I think the thing I'm most impressed about with the slaw is the combo between 
the the, the serrano pepper and having those pomegranate seeds. That juxtaposition is damn delicious so far. I'm excited about this. Let's see. But she didn't! She didn't. Let me clean this up real quick. It's common thing. It's hot in here, huh? It's not not warm next to this giant <laughs> pot of oil. <laughs> okay, a little bit of cilantro because it tastes good and we Fucking want that. Medieval times. And we want that color, right? Oh, well, well, let's okay. taste them. Let's Wait, taste just, them. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this one. Okay. I promise. All right. Oh, my hands are a mess. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> well, mm. you're right about several things. That potato starch really holds the heat. Really holds the heat. How crispy is it? That is so crispy. Mm. I mean, boy, that bounce with the texture is see, really yeah. what gets me. That crunch and the softness of the fish. And we the have crispiness. the pineapple in here. See, rather than just you know, so squeezing good. a lime. Yeah. We have pineapple the, as our citrus. And, the ze uh, and not only that, but the zest. I can actually tell yeah, the that the, the lime comes through and it doesn't, okay, it's not too watery or what have you. And yeah, well, I mean, look at this. This is bite. everything that dropped out yeah. is dry. We don't have like a a hodgepodge of just mayonnaise and liquid that's seeping out or sour cream, but mm. but you're so right about the flour turkey, assume that's I would always buy corn. Um it's kind of a revelation. Mm -hmm. Flour tortillas come yeah. back into my life. Flour tortillas with fish, corn tortillas with mm. meat. Beef. Yeah. Alright. So what'd you think? How did I do? Yeah, I would I would give this a I don't know what what's your do you have like some sort of rating scale? Um so we use um Kelvin? Cool. <laughs> I was gonna say something funny, but that was pretty funny, so let's just roll with that. Well, there you have it. I hope mm -hmm. that you learned something. I hope that you feel inspired. I hope that you are taking with you a little bit of um, knowledge, and I'm not just fishing. <laughs> I hate you. I know. Do with no, it what you will. Friends. What? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I love you. Would you like to paint? <laughs> Fish taco handshake? <laughs> During COVID. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's over. We're we literally smushed our faces together 10 seconds That's ago true. for the thumbnail. That's true.